waterfalls, which together constitute one of the seven wonders of the world. Niagara. Niagara Falls. Surprisingly, it costs you nothing to see them. Nobody's fenced them in. They're not out in the remote wilderness. In fact, Niagara Falls are right in town. You can see them from the street or from your hotel window, where you go off to sleep with their roar lulling you to rest. But America is full of such surprises. Just touch down here by Jet Clipper, and you'll find that you're on the very threshold of such a series of wonderlands that nobody was aware of when they listed those seven wonders of the world they knew. The major cities of America are mostly on the coast or on the shores of the Great Lakes, so the interior of this great continent is still nature's playground. It's hard to believe here where they bring you down to air-conditioned civilized refinements that this is the gateway to vast parklands where undiscovered wonders still exist. The Glacier National Park, way out in Montana. We're up among the Rocky Mountains. These are young mountains, and it took only a few million years for this spectacular beauty to build up. Today, you encounter the same wildlife that the earliest travelers found here. A motor car is of little use here where you need a horse to see the scenery. Only on horseback can you get off the beaten track and take things in at the right rhythm and pace. The horse is an essential part of such an untamed place. From the border of Canada, 1,600 square miles of unadulterated loveliness, a land of rushing streams, precipitous peaks, and ridges fringed with forests. A world in itself where you can hear deep silences, yet where you can make friends and take things easy. Who said America was an expensive land of crowds and rush? Most of America, in fact, is unspoilt parkland. From here right through to the Everglades in Florida, the semi-tropical swampland that is a unique bird sanctuary and a romantic escapist paradise. Nobody has told those lazy alligators that this is a breathless, fast-paced country. Yet the fact is that big cities like New York, Detroit, and Chicago are civilized anomalies in a huge subcontinent that, for the most part, belongs only to nature. Here, man has simply built walkways, the better to take in the natural scene and to preserve it against our intrusion. Don't imagine for one moment that rare birds would stay in the Everglades if milling tourists raced round in fast speedboats. The few power boats here are used exclusively by the rangers, whose mission it is to maintain this nature reserve. So it's a unique experience to race across these marshes. For once, we are privileged to be aboard the rangers' boat. is certain, whether you're skimming across the Everglades or setting up caravan camp in Yellowstone National Park, you are deep in nature's wonderland, in tune with your origins. Early explorers actually called it wonderland, this wildlife sanctuary. The greatest there is, which stretches from Wyoming into Montana and Idaho. You could spend a month in Yellowstone and see something new and exciting every day. Maybe from where you've chosen to place today's breakfast table, you will look up and spot a moose grazing, or elk, bison, coyote. Of course, you're bound to see bears.
Yellowstone scenery was fashioned by earth upheavals and volcanic eruptions. And today a myriad hot springs and geysers remind you of that fact. There's one geyser that erupts approximately once an hour, day and night. Old Faithful, she's called. Just watch her blow her top. Old Faithful hurls her steamy plume of water 180 feet in the air. And she is far from the biggest one here, where you find the largest concentration of geysers in the whole world. Everything at Yellowstone is on a scale of sheer magnificence. Even that waterfall is twice as high as Niagara. But Yellowstone's canyon, exciting in itself, is but a prelude to a phenomenon 500 miles away in Arizona, the Grand Canyon, where the Colorado River has gouged out a preposterous valley nine miles wide and one whole mile in depth. Bleak, beautiful, seemingly endless. Strange that so vast a panorama can lie out of sight and then suddenly provide you with such an unexpected view as this. Geologists claim it took from seven to nine million years for the river to carve all that rock. In this world of chipmunks and squirrels, things don't change very fast. No, things don't change fast in America's vast parklands. You'll even find Hopi Indians matching the mood of the wild country with their dance. dance is as much an integral part of America's parkland miracle as is the haunting afterglow of sunset. The final curtain for each day's episode of an unending drama, set in the most stupendous scenery the world has to show.